Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Atira Yusrina binti Yusnizam and my metric number is 2021468866. Hello, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nia Rajkirwa binti Nabil Rashid and my metric number is 2021828392. Hi, my name is Muhammad Aizah bin Ibrahim. My identity card number is 2028241104. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Faizwan bin Muhammad Rosdi. And then my matric number is 2021851654. My name is Daniel Haris and my, my matric number is 2021457806. For introduction, Human Resource Management is an organization that manages all related things to people in the organization. Next, Job Analysis is a systematic process of determining the skills, duties, and knowledge that are required for performing jobs in an organization. Human Resource Planning is a process of assessing the organization's human resource needs for organizational goals. Next, Recruitment. Recruitment is a process of finding the best qualified candidate to be hired in the organization. Selection is a part of hiring process and be conducted after recruitment has been done. For training and development, uh, training and development is a process of providing necessary knowledge, skills and abilities to the employees. While career development is a process of learning and improving the skills to so the employees can do the current job better. Performance appraisal is a process of evaluating employees' job performances, sharing information with them, and, and search out for ways to improve their performance. Mm. Compensation is every type of rewards for employees for working hard to achieve organization goals. Next, discipline. Discipline is the orderly conduct by an employee in an expected manner. And lastly, Occupational safety and health is the efforts of taking necessary measures to protect employees' injuries caused by work-related accidents. Now, I go to the part job analysis and the knowledge of them. This is security assistance of what anybody needs to do a job and eligible according to the term and condition of the security unit. Human resources have provided a job description that is responsibility for the physical security reports and employees' involvement within and premises including place design method as prohibited area and prohibited place under the prohibited area and prohibited place at 1959. Next, job that is for this position is handling digital access request for facility with high security offices, inclusion alarm monitoring, maintaining a copy, document and database, report and including that one, one job to manage Safety and security data, supervising and preserving departmental staff and employees, also and emergency review and post-critical condition agency to critical areas, perform a set of job relay of employees as instructed. This position will be security assistance also needs qualification to get this For education, the job at the plan will process the Malaysian Certified of Education, which is SPF. You also need to process a level 2 Malaysian Skills Certificate SPM in a related field. They also have a SPM level 3 in the related field. Like that, former police or military personnel with a rank of constable, private or equivalent and have been confirmed in the post and have a good service report. Next, we go to the part of physical and sensory measurement. For a job at the applicant, they uh, may have a head of at least 1.57 meter for men and 1.53 meter for men. For the mass index, they are measurement range from 19 to 15 to 16. A registered medical practitioner will examine the job applicant and certify that uh, they are fit to serve. Next, we go to the number of employees need for the security assistant based on department factors. This position only need 15 new employees to fill position and they divided to posting according to the first qualities. For recruitment, this is the job vacancy for security assistant. Next, for other methods to be used to increase the applicant pool, which are media announcement, 
internet recruiting and unsolicited walk in and write in. I will continue continue to discuss the next part, which is selection. Selecting qualified candidate from the application group is known as the selection process. In this process, the employer is responsible in selecting the potential candidate to bring benefit to the department and organ and the organization. In the process of selecting qualified employer in the field of security assistance, the employer has a set a number of procedures that the applicant must go through before being hired. The first is initial screening. The second is application review. Uh, the third is pre-employment test. The fourth is background check. And the last one is a job interview. It's an example of a letter that will be sent to a, to a candidate to invite them to attend an interview session. This letter will be sent either by email or sent to the candidate house by post. In this letter, it is also state what the candidate need to bring before coming to the interview session, such as official document and other. Next, this is, this is an example of a letter to inform the candidate that they have successfully obtained a position in a job. In this letter, it is state to the candidate that they need to bring this letter and need to bring it with them when reporting to the workplace designed by the department. Lastly, this is an example of a letter to inform a candidate that they fail in getting a position for this job. In this letter, it explains why the candidate failed to get this position. In addition, at the end of this letter, there is advice to candidate so that next time when they want to apply for a job, make sure they fill in the correct information and ensure that they meet the requirement set for employment. Then, there is training and development. There are some contents of an induction program for the new recruits. First is orientation. Orientation is the first thing and development effort for new workers and it is designed to teach them of the position and organization goals and duties as well as to answer any concern they may have regarding security assistance, benefits and payroll information. Uh, next is provide an overview of the workplace, including information and the organization, the office environment, for our, for our tasks and so on. It gives new workers the essential organizational knowledge they need to feel prepared for the new team. Next, we move the training program to be conducted for the new recruits. First is self-defense program. This is important since the security assistant is responsible for safeguarding and protecting the workplace. Uh, second is health and emergency program. This is because accident can happen anytime, anywhere and to anyone. On this program, it includes online and CPR training, first aid kit users, and other injury conditions that might happen while working. As for career development, there is some potential career advancement for your employee which is merit-based. This potential has job own advantage and disadvantage. Example of advantage is allowing an organization's human resource to be used to their full potential. And the disadvantage is have doubts about management ability to judge merit. They may grow dissatisfied and engage in activity that leads to industrial unrest, strike and look out among other things. Then, there are some rules to be performed by the HR department to assist employees in their career advancement, such as career workshop. It is to provide seminars to assist employees in furthering their careers inside the company. Uh, employees can share and compare their professional views, problems, and plans with other employees during the seminars. Uh, next is career mentoring, which employees of higher rank should be assigned to coach, advise, and encourage individuals with career development and psychological elements of career planning and growth. Lastly is career self-management training, which teach workers how to get frequent feedback and information about their job, as well as encourage them to plan for mobility. So next, I will continue and explain 2.6.1 which is identify the performance method to be used for the position. For the first one is ranking scale system. The rater will determine the appropriate performance level for each criterion before calculating the employee's overall numerous score. Second is pair comparison. In this method, the appraiser compares each employee with all other in a group one at a time. Next is the fourth choice. This method are, are a series of descriptive statement including those that the best fit the individual being read and those that do the least. Last, the source right and AC. This could be a trait method or a behavioral method. The disadvantage of this method is the manager writing ability influence the evaluation effectiveness. Next is 2.6.2 which is determine the criteria for evaluation of the job performance. First is Malaysian. Second is be not less than 80. They also need to meet the physical and sensory measurement requirements as follow. Heat of at least uh, 1.57 meter for men and 1.53 for women without shoes. For weight, at least uh, they must uh, 48 kg for men and 46 kg for women. They also need to have a body mass index BMI measurement in the range of 19 to 26. 
Next, I will continue with 2.7.1, which is to explain the salary scheme of the position for position uh, security assistant KP19. Uh, for minimum salary is 1,352 ringgit Malaysian. For maximum salary is 4,003 ringgit Malaysian. For annual salary increase rate is around 100 ringgit Malaysian. So next, I will continue and spend 2.7.2 which it describes some of the benefits eligible for the position according to general order. For the first one is promotion. An officer is only eligible to be considered for promotion if he has fulfilled the condition for promotion. The factor that determine an officer is eligible for promotion which is work efficiency and performance, qualification, knowledge, skill and experience. Second is employee provider fund scheme and the granting of pension status. The EPF is a scheme launched by the government in 1991 to help receive money for old age. Next is allowance and service. The allowance is given to member of public sector is intent to cover the cost of living and also aim to provide remuneration to officer who hold strategic position in the public service. Uh, the example that we can give is cost of living allowance which is COLA. Next is a housing allowance. For the last one is annual leave according to eligibility. For general employees, the minimum leave is 14 days per year. For professional, the minimum leave is 25 days per year. Next, for discipline, there are some infractions and infringements that are normally does in this position job. First, there is coming late for no reasonable reason. Second, falsifying medical certificates. Third, do not insert card in time record. And lastly, accepting bribes. For the next question is for disciplinary actions that might be imposed for the misconducts. So firstly, uh, it is suitable for the company to issue a warning letter. Second, counselling the employee. Third, conducting domestic inquiry. And lastly, termination of employment. In accordance with the term and condition included in the human resource management process, it also included occupation safety and health. It is the procedure to protect an employee from workplace diseases and injury to the secure the workplace from injury. Even if the job is safe, even if there is risk, data show that security density is particularly used for fact. Almost the private security guards are killed while on the job in different nations. Security guards sustain injuries more than twice as frequently as the typical worker. According to the data, security guards are most frequently hurt by the following things in general order. Firstly, falls, racing against things or animals, car accidents, overexertion, environmental and substance causes, causes. Based on our department, safety and health of employees are granted. The care service offered are once a year. Classes on occupational safety and health are held. Treatment focuses on bringing employees ready for the work. Establish a health and safety strength strategy with an emergency action plan. Install security devices such as military CCTV and audio. When button, controller access, and fire detector. We also have our occupational health clinic to make sure our employees in a good condition. It is because the success of our department depend on the health and safety of our employees. We know our value employees are in good hands from the moment of employment to any workers' compensation or fitness for that issue. As a conclusion, human resource management is an organization that manages all related things to people in the organization. As a human resource management, uh, they have many tasks to do such job analysis and human resource training and recruitment. All of these tasks has their own benefit and contribute to good management. We get a true understanding of what human resources are in terms of the function and procedure they carry out by completing this assignment.